So I've got this old tripod. It's a uh, it's a Welt safe lock, and I've had this thing for for like ever. And it's not a terribly expensive tripod, but it's really easy to set up with these. You can see in here with these quick release knobs. As soon as you pop these off, it just moves. You can extend it and then immediately lock it. It's really easy to adjust these legs when you're out on rough terrain and uneven surfaces. However, the, the head, which is not bad for an old head, um, it doesn't have a level and it doesn't have a quick, quick release. And so what I want to do is take this head off and I want to replace it with this head. So this has a level on it. You can see it's got a quick release and it didn't cost a lot. So let's take it out in the shop and see if we can make this thing work. Okay, what I plan to do is take this expanding nut. This replaces a star nut in a mountain bike handlebar stem. So it goes down vertically you screw the middle part of this screw down with an Allen key and that expands this. And that should fit inside that tubing. I measured it and it's just about perfect. Now as you can see how this works, it's dished in a V this way, and of course this is dished, and it's the same way on this side. I'll take this apart and show you. So it's V'd here, and this acts like an awl, and it spreads these apart like that, and it grips onto the inner side of this tubing. So when I take this head off, I'll only have this collar left, which I can set right at the top, and that will give this base a little bit wider surface to ride on. But this will fit up inside and it will lock to this given my stud. Now the stud is an M6. The only problem I'm having is that there's an insert that comes with this new fluid head and it's at quarter 20. And this, I believe, is a 3 8 thread fitting to size it down. And this is a little bit thicker thread. So what I'm going to do is run a die on this, on these threads, that's quarter 20. And now these threads are finer, so the quarter 20 will make them a little bit larger. It's taking away thread. So that should leave me with enough metal there to uh, actually bite down on these. And I don't need a massive amount of torque. I just need it to, to stay put. So let's give that a try. All right, so here's my die set, tap and dies. And uh, quarter 20 right there. All right, I put a nut on the end of this and I'll hold it with a wrench while I run my die over it. 10 millimeter. tapping fluid, but I'm going to use a little 30 weight oil.
reason I'm going back and forth on this is because I'm actually cutting metal. And you can bind your tap or your die up if you don't back it off. And then let some of that cutting fluid or oil get in there to help you with your cut. And you can actually break a tap if you tap in a hole if you don't back it off every now and then. All right, now it's going smooth. Now the question is, will there be enough metal left on these new threads to hold the base of this tripod head. Okay, as you can see it definitely changed the threads. So let's see if it works. First thing I've got to do yeah, it's getting warm. First thing I have to do is get this small straight blade screwdriver stop nut out of here and I've got just the tool for that. And then this is just a cap. pops right out. Now, now that that stop screw is unloosened, I can unthread this and take this whole head off. Just like that. Okay, let's see if this fits in there. And look at that. But it doesn't want to go all the way in because we've got a roll pin. I don't know if you can see it, but that roll pin is uh, stopping this piece from going in. So I'm going to knock that roll pin out of there. Scrap 2x4. Two hours later. All right, claw hammer for the win. Got that roll pin out. It's grabbing on really tight. Now, if you look inside, you'll see that there's threads, and that's uh, that is my M6 thread, yeah. And that goes in quite a ways. So 
So my stud will go in like this until it bottoms out. And then the new head goes on like this. Brake clean. And there you go. smooth. So what I did is I, uh, you saw in the, the video, is I took a, a die and re-threaded that uh, M6 to a quarter 20 and it, it worked fine. It grabs really well. So that's the solution for that. And outside of that, it's a very simple and inexpensive modification. I think I paid $26 on Amazon for this uh, fluid head and uh, it gives me everything that I was lacking on the old one and as far as the tripod itself I love this thing it's been around the world I've had it for years um, it works for any kind of camera I can do a really quick setup just by popping these you don't have to really use two hands to adjust it and as long as you've got the level like my last original head didn't have then you don't have any problem leveling this thing out in the field and so now this is going to be a much more usable tripod and I can bang it around because it's not a super expensive one but I do like it it's I've had a couple more expensive tripods and they got bent uh, they didn't hold up well and uh, they weren't much lighter than this so this will be my main unit anyway thanks for watching